Peace and blessings, brothers and sisters. All praise be to the Most High God. Another blessed day. Another opportunity to serve, man. I'm just grateful for life, man. And just happy to be here. You understand what I'm saying? But um, to the Most High God be the glory. Just want to whip up a quick video right quick, man. Um, I know it's been a minute since I did one of these. A lot of distractions, man. There's been a lot going on. But um, the Most High Merciful, man. It's a time that's definitely taking more... Um, sacrifices to get the things that need to be done done and things are being done um and everything ain't to be seen but the lord is preparing us preparing his bride you know um and all who willing and yielding to the spirit being led by the spirit to bring forth the fruit of the spirit um a lot of things going on politically i mean there's so much going on on so many different levels we absolutely have to make whatever sacrifices we have to make to eat each day. I mean, to digest each day, God's word, to meditate each day, you know, um, and, and put forth effort to focus on his will, what he would have us to do and getting it done, feel me? Um, the, t the, the time is gonna only get harder pertaining to getting the things and the work done of the Lord. And we have to take advantage of the opportunity the time we have to share the gospel and if the lord grace us with additional time great but we should not expect to have it and we should work while it is the day because the night come over no man no man can work all right and that's the truth feel me you know and um we just don't know how soon that's gonna be so let's get it you know stay motivated stay encouraged keep grinding and doing what the lord will have you to do that's your god-given purpose and if you don't know it i mean at the end of the day so where you need to sow at you feel me that when the lord come back there'll be an increase you feel me you won't be that wicked servant that slothful servant who hid his lord's talent in the ground and said hey there go over there feel me you don't want to be that guy i want nothing to do with that guy feel me myself so i'm just encouraging y'all to keep grinding doing what you're here to do but there's been many messages the lord been relaying to me a lot of stuff i've just been sitting on meditating on thinking about many different confirmations pertaining to many different things and a lot of it you know, it's kind of heavy, you know what I'm saying? Some stuff you don't want to know or whatnot. But I thank the Lord for revelation and clarity. But we're in a peculiar time, a special time, and you need to prepare. You need to prepare spiritually utmost, even definitely mentally, and um, even physically. You understand? That's something the Lord putting more or shining a light on in my life. You feel me? You know, but you were preparing. <laughs> And you did those things and it kind of died down and now it's time to stir it up, stir up the gift of God in you and bring forth that which is, you know, pleasing in his sight. It's time to get it, get the work of the Lord done, the will of the Lord done, um, you know, so I'm just grateful and thankful and I just wanted to kind of show my face and just shout out y'all. I appreciate everybody supporting me, praying for me and my family, um, highly appreciate it. The most high God is faithful. I just, you know, like I said, I haven't been as active and interactive more so recently, but it ain't no um, ill feelings or anything towards my beloved brothers and sisters, man. Sometimes you just got to step back and seek the Lord, you know. But in regards to the times we in, feel me, y'all see all the stuff that's going on. We're in a, you know, we ain't in that dark hour, we approaching it. And if things shift towards that dark hour, you know, you want to be prepared, you know what I mean? Spiritually, mentally, emotionally, um, physically, and whatever other type of ways the Lord leads you to prepare. But with that being said, I got numerous confirmations just in regard to the times, man, the election and stuff like that, and the things that are likely to happen. This was well before the situation happened with President Trump. Um, yeah, prepare. Um, you know what I mean? And yeah, feel me? It's all I can say, man. You know, um, just want to make sure you line, you, you lined up in the, you know, doing the will of the Lord and that you understand what his will is and you're not getting that twisted with what the will of the world is. People, faith is in man. You feel me? Feel me? And women, you know, but, um, you're going to have to trust in the Lord, man. Even when things get ugly, even when things ain't looking good, feel me? 
all we can ask for and pray. <laughs> all I can ask for and pray is I want peace with the Lord. I don't want to leave before my time. I don't wish that on anybody. You know what I'm saying? I want to fulfill what I'm here to fulfill. You know, and um, we have to trust that the Lord going to grace us to do that. But we also have to do what we need to do to execute. Um, but just stay focused, man. Um, a lot of this stuff is distractions. So a lot of we got to pay very close attention to at the same time. But there's only but so much of it we can take at once. You know what I'm saying? There's only but so much you can take in at one time, man. We, we're human. So, you know, keep a level here. Stay in the spirit. Don't get fearful um, or whatnot. But there's going to be some shaking. You understand what I'm saying? That, you know, in regards to this election, whichever way things go, it don't even matter at this point, it seems like. Um, Satan got his foot in the earth. You know what I'm saying? And these vessels who he funneling and um, ministering his will through, you know, um, it's just at a stage, an elevated stage of um, a heightened stage of warfare. You know what I mean? Um, so saints got to be ready and be praying. I believe it's of utmost importance for us to link in in the spirit with those of like minds, feel me? Understanding who really truly have a like mind, man, not taking over relationships and friendships for granted. And just doing what need to be done to bridge the gap, you know, praying, fasting, and all of that good stuff, um, or whatnot. Many gonna get fearful, y'all. You understand what I'm saying? And to some extent, you understand some of it, but then at the end of the day, where we standing at with the Lord? That's what's of utmost importance. So if you're living a repentant life each and every day renouncing his sins repenting man and uh, forgiving others as you want to be forgiven man and um seeking the lower face daily you know no matter what happens you got to have peace with whatever is the lord's will you know but i just want to touch bases you know i feel like it's a lot more i want to share man and maybe i need to prepare to share it but you know do what you're here to do you know courage other believing brothers and sisters in the faith and um no matter how things shake out, you know what I'm saying? We definitely don't need to be falling back or falling into a slumber where we think, okay, everything going back to normal. You absolutely don't do that. You feel me? Because at any moment, at any time, regardless of how the election go, um, things can shift and change, like, in a moment. Um, and like I said, a lot of people got their faith in men. And I done had people relay messages to me. And I found out that other people are preparing in some ways that kind of concerns me. I ain't say nothing. I ain't say but so much. But then after the situation happened, which I'm like, okay, I get it now. These folks are preparing. And um, we got to get right with the Lord, man. Get to praying and fasting and things like that, man. Because, yeah, you know, you want to do that. Feel me? Because um, he is our Savior. No one else going to save you. You know, so it's raining on me. God bless his elect now forever. I hire be magnified, man, and peace and blessings be upon y'all and your families. I wish y'all the best, man. And through the grace of the Most High God, as he permit, we will build, we will chop it up.